Hey everyone, and thank you for uh, checking out our Sisterhood Coach Sneak Peek. So if this is the first time you're watching one of these videos, there's a whole bunch already on the page that you can check out that sort of talk about more basic and fundamental things we do as a coach, how we make money, how you can join us, who we're looking for, those types of things. Um, but today I am gonna talk to you guys about one of the best job requirements in order to be a good coach, and that is living your best life. And that seems like a really like phony Instagram thing to say, but it's honestly so genuine. This job challenges me to become better every single day, and honestly, I am so thankful for it. When I started this journey, this was about my physical transformation. I had gained uh, over 75 pounds with two pregnant with each pregnancy. Um, I was 235 pounds when I delivered my second baby, and I was in a stranger's body. And mentally, it was taking over my emotional health. So. That is a really big reason I started to coach. I saw some serious success in my first 26 days and I was like, hmm, like I could maybe actually do this. Like I could inspire others to join me, you know, and da 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 and that's why I started. Um, but over the course of the past year and a half of doing this, what I've really realized is that this job has sort of saved my life because without this job, I wouldn't have done all the other work aside from the physical transformation um, that is required. Um, for example, I don't share this very much, but I am a 20 year smoker, like heavy smoker pack a day. So the only times I've not smoked have been my two pregnancies. And then when I first started this journey, 80 day obsession, I quit smoking for that for that 80 days um, because I knew it was gonna hold me back and I wanted to go all in, um, but it was like literally day 81, I went out and celebrated with cocktails and fell off the wagon and started smoking again. So for the past year, while I've been coaching, that has been sort of my vice and the one thing I've like allowed myself to do. But as time goes on, I know that it's held me back and I know that it is something that I needed to focus on. And so as a part of this job, as a part of coaching, I forced myself to acknowledge this sort of demon um, and quit smoking. So last month, I don't know if some of you guys have seen, but we are doing the habit challenge and that was my habit that I chose. I know it was a lot about creating a new habit, but I chose to get rid of one because I knew how important it was that I face that demon. So I think really the moral of this is that this job forces you to acknowledge um, anything in your life that is holding you back from being authentic, from being genuine, from being happy, and really forces you to do some work on it, whether it's through personal development, through reading books, whether it's to speaking to your mentors about it, because in order for you to inspire others to make positive changes in their life, you have to be making them yourself. And if I had just done these Beachbody programs and then stopped, I wouldn't have been compelled to continue to do the serious hard work that is required to stay on this journey. And I know that. And I see some women fall on and off and on and off of these programs. And I know that it's for one simple reason. Anybody can follow these programs and lose 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 pounds. But to lose weight permanently, you really have to look inside your mind and your soul and make those real changes that are not physical, that are not picking up the bread or putting it down. It is that, that headspace work and the fact that these programs teach you a healthy, sustainable way to live your life forever like every day and so if you are somebody that is thinking like that you could use some positive changes in your life that you could use some accountability to living a better life then this could be for you because I never envisioned myself living this life I never envisioned myself um, waking up every day at 5 a.m. and eating right 90% of the time um, like listen I just went on vacation I ate all the things I feel all the shit Okay, it's not about never being able to do those things, but it's about living this way the majority of the time. And without coaching, without the sisterhood, I know I would not have done this. So 
I don't know, it's kind of cool. This job forces you to be better. It forces you to be genuine, to acknowledge your faults, to work on them, um, to read, to maybe stop watching TV and do other things that are uh, not only making you better, but maybe giving you some financial freedom. Um, you know, I am like, booking into my third month of vacations for the year solely because I took this chance. Because I know for a fact if I had gone back to work, I would not have been able to take three months vacation. But this job has given me the time freedom to look at what I want to do with my life, where I want to go, where I want to take my kids, how many, how many days a year I want to see my family in Canada, all those types of things. So... I don't know if this resonated with anyone. I feel like I kind of babbled, but um, yeah. If there's any space for you to live a better life, this could be what you're looking for. Thanks, guys.